even in science, you know, last night we had a very interesting discussion about how the whole modus operandi of, of science itself has changed. Uh, we, we did some interesting research as a follow-on to our uh, book, Weconomics, and what we found is that, you know, even a discipline like astronomy has changed profoundly, largely because it, it used to be about small communities doing observational research, keeping their data proprietary, and then publishing individual results in, in scientific journals. Today, what we find, largely because of the internet, these scientific communities are, are forming at a very large scale. They're starting to code and share data sets. Governments sit on huge depositories of data, much of which they collect through their normal administrative functions, but some of which they're paying for. Clinical trials, for example. R&D that doesn't make any good progress. Failures, that's useful information that should be put out there into what we call knowledge networks and markets. Just as we have well-functioning labor markets and product markets and financial markets, we need new markets for knowledge. So consensus seeking about what is important and why we should do stuff should really be replaced by a policy of can-do stipulating empowerment in people and enabling the people to take control of the business issues and move these business issues forward, both in small industry, in large industry, both in education, both in research. So be much more pragmatic than we have been in the past. A big dichotomy that new innovation uh, and new innovative approaches face on a continuous basis is the battle of new versus old. Um, and enabling uh, new innovators that uh, potentially could be disrupting old ways of doing things to be successful and not burdened by um, all sorts of restrictive covenants that, uh, that maintain the status quo with the status quo is not going to get to move us forward and, uh, and help make things better. We need to connect up and speed up innovation along the whole policy chain from research to retail. Equally, more attention should be paid to other forms of innovation, such as business model or management innovation, design and marketing, and services innovation, all of which have largely unrelated uh, research spending. I want to remove once and for all the pension and social security obstacles which prevent researchers from moving freely between countries. I agree with the sentiment expressed in the e-brief that the old models of industrial planning are largely redundant and that it makes more sense to focus on giving citizens the skills they need to tap into global innovation networks. This must apply to all citizens. All must have access to the training and education they need. We cannot allow an innovation divide to open up.